Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Good Company, a corporate machinery simulator. Because, kids, corporations care about you, don't they? Here, here at Blank, here, here's what we're doing for you. We're, we're committed to... Yeah, exactly. Same corporate BS, I know. Good to see you, everybody, here for this wonderful little logistic... Uh, tycoon builder game i don't know how to explain it but the art style is amazing and i love the music check out the town that we get to build in there's like little trams and cars and stuff driving around this game is quite interesting and very good from what i've seen and heard so i can't wait to give it my first try so welcome aboard thank you very much for smashing that like button as always to let me know you want to see more on the channel you guys are amazing so thanks as always for being one of the best communities on youtube and without further ado well, let's say hi to me, by the way, the CEO Raptor of Raptor Cares. Here, here, I really do care. So let's get started with a new campaign. After many years away, you're back in good country, or good county, I guess. Proud home of tinkers and tycoons. Upon your return, you discover that ruthless global corporations have brought the local industry to its knees. Now your fellow citizens are in need of jobs and someone to offer them a brighter future. You've been hired by the Federal Bureau of Industries to get the local economy back on track. Their consultant will contact you shortly. All right. Campaign returning home. Your dad's garage is just as you remember it. The scent of motor oil, burnt hair, and fancy cologne tickles your nose. This is the ideal location to start your new company. The folks at the Federal Bureau of Industries are pinning their hopes on you to revive local businesses. Don't let them down or otherwise... Wow, look at how giant Dad's garage is. Look at that. <laughs> the house is tiny compared to the garage. Dad literally has like the size of a fast food restaurant there. Holy crap. Looks like we have a few objectives to complete. So let's start this level and see what good company has in store for us. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kerry Goldfield, a business consultant. It's good to have you back in good county. The local economy is doing terribly. We hope you can change that. I'll assist you as much as I can. Before you get started, remember that you can review things we discussed today by clicking the progress bar below. And if you ever get stuck, you can learn more in your Tycoon's manual. Let's begin. Running a good company depends on many factors. Let's work our way up from the basics by crafting something to sell. To craft your something yourself, you'll need to have the required materials in your inventory while you're using a workplace. If you don't have materials in stock, you can order them using the incoming zone. I hear there are decent money to be made in single cell batteries. To craft this module, You'll need chemicals. I've already placed an order to get you started. Take the chemicals to the tinker table and set the to single cell battery module recipe. Your first goal is to craft at least two single cell batteries. Single cell? Is that where singles mingle? Oh, wow. Sexy single cell batteries are in my area ready to mingle. Well, let's make two of them. I guess that'll make some uh, baby batteries. Let's go ahead and uh, set it to single cell battery recipe and go to two as the lady said. All right, start crafting. There we go. I absolutely love the art style of this game. It's really beautiful. You can see the trees swaying. And check out Dad's little gremlin in the front yard. He's, like, parked in the driveway. Uh, look at how small that car is compared to the garage. Like, there's literally li more living space inside of Dad's garage. Now we're like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, by the way. They started in their garages, too. Milestone reached. Hobbyist. Very good. Can you see the new outgoing zone next to your garage gate? Yes, I can. Every Monday morning, a truck will pick up everything you've placed there and sell it for you. So, let's make some money. Your next goal is to place those batteries inside the outgoing zone so they can get sold. Well, that's easy, ma'am. Wow, look at my hair. Am I ninja or something like that? I thought that was gray hair. All right, let's go up here to the uh, outgoing zone. Mission complete! Splendid! So glad that the FBI hired you. Let's continue. The recipes for single cases is available. You can switch recipes at the tinker table and see which materials are required. Remember to order what you need from the incoming zone. Your next goal is to craft two simple cases. Go for it! All right, well, that means plastic, I'm assuming, for cases. So let's make sure we make an order on that. Yep, plastic. All right, so, uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make two simple cases, as the lady said. All right, uh, case and two. Boom. There you go. All right, so we can craft things ourselves, which is cool. But I want to get to the point where I can hire uh, people. Um, I want to hire human beings to do things for me to maximize my profits. So that way I can exploitate their labor to maximize the funds in which I receive. Excellent. Yes, money. Yes, I need it. Money. Yes. Milestone reached. Well done. While I value your hands-on commitment, we need to free up you to focus on other important areas, such as spending the money and golfing for all hours of the day. That's where the workforce comes in. Let me show you how to delegate tasks and hire employees to do them. Fools. Fools. Keep in mind, the workplace an employee is supposed to use... Uh, 
needs to be set by the required recipe. Oh, I see. Switch to logistics mode. This lets you choose where materials are taken from and crafted items are then stored. To begin, drag a connection from the incoming zone to the tinker table and drag it from the uh, tinker table to the outgoing zone. With this connection, items will be taken straight to be sold. Excellent. Hire your first employee. Open up the personnel panel and hire employee button. Take your pick from the prospective employees there. Perfect. Then, empl uh, then assign the new hire to the tinker table and you can officially call yourself a boss. Have your employee craft two modules for you now. All right, so what are we exactly making? I guess it doesn't matter at the point. Let's go ahead and connect the table. So from the incoming zone to the table and from the table to the cell zone. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and hire an employee. Who has the craziest hair? Let's go for the craziest hair person to hire. Oh yeah, that's gotta be uh, grandma right here with the, the with the grandma bun. Excellent. All right, Granny, welcome aboard. You are now in charge of the tinker table. Go, 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 go. Let's get chopping, let's go, come on. Come on, profits, baby. Let's move it. Let's go. Come on, shake it. There you go. And say hello to little Dino here. Excellent. He's equipped with a taser to motivate the employees. And also, perfect. All right. So case number one is complete. Excellent. And she's bringing it over to the outgoing zone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Move, 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 move. Excellent. Come on, now. Let's go. Let's go. Shake it. Let, let, come on. Well, PTO? I don't think so. Let's move it. Move it. Move it. Come on. Come on. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. No, she doesn't. Get over. Come on. Move, 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 move. All right, good. Outstanding! Let's start scaling up your production, shall we? You have plenty of space left in here. Yeah, no kidding! Look at this! Dad literally bought, like, an apartment building worth of space. Check your construction panel. You can now place additional tinker tables. They'll cost you money to build, so keep an eye on your finances. I'd say you could use two more tinker tables, wouldn't you? Well, I guess so. I'll go ahead and place uh, spaces between them, I guess, so that way people can move through. So let's put one there and one... Uh, uh oh We're running out of space now. Let's place one on the other side. Excellent! I'm a tinkerer, level four. Well, it certainly looks cozy in here. Let's continue. Wait, no, it doesn't. Hold on a second. It does not look cozy. Let me put some potted plants by the door and a safari rug. Now it looks cozy. There we go. The recipe for the LED arrays is now available. You can switch recipes at the tinker table and see which materials are required. Remember to order them from the incoming zone, of course. Go ahead and have two LED arrays crafted using one of your new tinker tables. By the way, whenever you feel like helping out your staff, you can jump into... <laughs> Good joke. Good joke. All right, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and switch the recipe then. So we want to make... Uh... Actually, wait, we can make all sorts of things. LED... Oh, we can make one of all different things. Hold on, let's try this. Let's try, she's making cases. Let's try single cell batteries over here. And let's do LED arrays here. And then let's connect them all up. So they'll go from the buy station uh, to the tinker table, from the tinker table to the cell point. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wait, why is this one not working? Apparently there's an alert there, why? Uh, not exactly sure why. It's going to the tables and then from each tinker table to the cell zone. That should be fine. Okay, now let's hire some more employees. Yes, fools, fools. Let's go with uh, coolest glasses. That's got to be Angela, Angelina. Welcome aboard. And let's go for boom. And let's also hire another employee. Let's go with coolest facial hair. Oh, this guy has none. You're in. You don't even have a face. Like you're just okay. That's interesting. Uh, all right, let's add you to Tinker Table Two. There you go. Oh, you need electronics. Sorry, ma'am. That would be what the alert was for, that we need electronics now. Excellent. Let's double down on what we need, too, by the way. There we go. We're ordering more because we're producing more. Now the shipment just has to come in. Excellent. Excellent. Soon. Soon. Okay, let's go for building another tinker table because I can't get enough of them. I want another one. Give me another one. Right there. Boom. And now we're in bankruptcy, kids. Yay. That's right. Let's see. We have 29 days to get out of bankruptcy. Oh, no. We'll never make it. Oh, impending doom is upon me. How is one to manage? Oh, the caviar. I might have to use a secondhand grocery store caviar, not that pure, uncut Colombian. Uh, oh, never mind. Anyway, the truck should come on Monday. What day is it now? It's Sunday, which means here comes a Monday. And here comes the truck. Oh, beautiful. We made money. Beautiful. Excellent. No problems here. Market discovered. A breakthrough. The calculator. Great work. It's getting exciting. I think you're ready for the real deal. Assembling products. The assembly table is now available. I've also provided you with a simple product blueprint. A calculator. Construct an assembly table and set it to produce calculators. The calculator consists of three modules already available to you. Make sure all tinker tables are set up to craft one of the required modules. The battery, the case, and the LED array. Note that you cannot connect two tables directly with each other. Crafting employees can only pick up and put into inventories like small shelving racks. In case 
Uh, oh, in our case, that would make sense to construct outputs of all tinker tables with a small shelving rack. Oh, I see. So we should have one rack per table. I see. Uh, use the logistics mode like before and drag connections between the modules at the tinker sta uh, tables and then connect it to the shelving rack to the assembly table. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Go for it. All right. Excellent. All right. Well, we're making a little bit of money on the side from all the other stuff coming in. There's our assembly table. Hmm. I guess we could put an assembly table here and here if we need to do two. So let me uh, go into bankruptcy. I don't mind a little... No, no, no one ever... A little bankruptcy never hurt anybody, right? Let's start with our first assembly table there. So these employees are going to need to bring stuff to a shelving rack. Well, maybe we'll just store it here. Ah, maybe I can make multiple shelving racks. So let's do like... Um, I guess we'll make like one here so that way the person can literally turn around and just pick it up from the shelf. So now we have to tell these people to literally... Uh, store them on the shelf rather than storing them uh, inside the outgoing zone. So let's have you guys switch targets. So go there, there, there. So you guys should be getting it from there. Oh, they're still going to the cell zone, though. I don't want you guys going there. How do I tell them not to go to the... I want them only going to the shelving rack. How do I cancel the cell zone? Hmm. Oh, if I right-click. Ah, I see. Wait a minute. Wait, there's all these screens on the screen. Hold on. Okay, let's go back to the logistics ramp. Okay, so you can see where they're selling to. Ma'am, I don't want you selling there anymore. I don't want anybody selling at that sell point anymore. Maybe they'll put it on the, the shelf instead. Oh, I know. They'll put it on the shelf until the shelf is full. And then once the shelf is full, they will uh, stop. Wait, you can't go from a shelf to the assembly table? That doesn't make sense. Unless I have to assign it first. Make a calculator. There we go. I want you making the calculators perfect. So go from here to there. And then from here to the sell point. Perfect. All right, so they'll only sell off extra goodies if there happens to be no shelf space. So that makes sense. Let's hire a new employee. Welcome aboard to the coolest hat in town, Paul Reed. Welcome aboard, Paul. You'll now be working at the assembly station. All right, now we need somebody making more of these. Uh, now, see, this person has to work for, uh, walk further, so that's an inefficiency detected. Alert! Inefficiency detected! Inefficiency detected! So, uh, let's see, in retrospect, I think we could set up our uh, work site to be all this way, long way. But that's fine, we're still making... Yes, we made our first calculator! Yeah! Oh, he was very excited about that. Me too. Me too. Very good, dude. All right. Keep working, people. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. My profits are low. Come on. I want to I want to retire before the age of 29. Let's go. Come on. Let's move it, move it, move it. Come on. Profits before people, people. Let's go. Come on. Money is way more important than the longevity or the, uh, the self-preservation of society. Come on. Let's move it. Let's go. Come on. All right. So we've got two calculators there. We've already knocked out our goal. We just need to wait until Monday. Beautiful. Although we could do a little bit better in making more LED screens. I wonder how long production takes. Here it takes... Uh, it doesn't tell me exactly how long. That'd be a good thing to actually have on the screen. But we could hire another person to make LEDs. Seems like that's where we always have a shortage. However, the shelving rack has a limited capacity. It can only hold three items at a time, which means we'll have to make another one for another assembly table. Oh boy, we are in, we are in bankruptcy, baby. No, no, after this... Wait, a news report! Breaking good news! For good companies... More in the news. In other news, this Raptor is doing amazing. Struggling, but recent but figures look promising. There we go. That's what I wanted to hear. Sell one calculator. We did it. We are the bet. Watch out there, uh, Tim Cook. Watch out for me. All right, let's keep rolling. So you've decided to challenge yourself and truly break into the market. That's the spirit. Your calculators are fine, but we can make them better. A blueprint for an enhanced calculator has just been unlocked. Let's see if you can produce six Mark II calculators. Oh, girl, now you're talking. All right, now we got money again. Good. So now let's start getting cracking with the other stuff. So new assembly table. Let's do it. New storage rack. Let's do it. Now what I want to do is continue to keep on making the Mark I calculators to make me money on the side. That's our that's our base model, but this is the Mark II model. Mark II, yes. All right, so what do we need to make for the Mark II calculator? That requires, uh, let's see, Mark II requires simple case, a battery stack that requires metal, plastic, and chemicals, and then another LED array. So we better start ordering more products, including metal. Let's keep it moving, people. Come on, let's move. All right, uh, let's see, metal. Okay, let's order two metal. How are we doing on plastics? Plastic. oh, yep, that all looks good. All this stuff looks really good. Okay, perfect. 
Now I just need to set it up so they make all the stuff required. So battery stack, boom. I should make some more tinker tables too. Oh yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a hell of a lot of employees now. All right, let's get going. Okay, let's put more employees here. Uh, there we go. So let's see. Um, LED array and a case is the other thing, right? That should be just fine. It's got an advanced battery in it, so that makes sense. Oh boy, these people are gonna have to go on a walk. Okay, folks, here's where we're going. You are gonna go from the incoming zone to the tinker table and from the tinker table to the shelf. Boom. Tinker table six uh, to the shelf. Tinker table five to the shelf. Excellent. And then from the shelving unit to the assembly line and then down here to the old... Uh-oh. I don't think I can connect it. Let me move my camera first. There we go. From here to there. Perfect. All right, that looks connected. Okay, we need to hire four new employees. Let's do it. Four new employees. One, two, three, four. Excellent. All right. Where are you guys working? Uh, let's see. Put you here. Uh, Romeo. Where art thou, Romeo? Romeo's at the assembly table. There you go. He's just got to wait for those supplies to be constructed. Uh, Eva, you're over here making cases. And August, you are making... Uh-oh. Uh uh, I think take Tinker Table 6. Wait, do we have enough employees? Oh, there we go. I think we got everybody assigned now. All right, so the c calculator construction has come to a pause for a moment while we're waiting for supplies to get constructed. And look, they're bringing over all the outgoing stuff, so we could probably make Mark 1 calculators a little faster now because this shelving unit is getting full and then they're putting them they're putting them over there. I think they can only store like two or three at a time. Let's make this shelving rack blue so we know it's advanced calculators. Oh, we can only give it certain colors. Let's give it this green color. There we go. I guess that's blue. A blue-ish color. Excellent. Excellent. Even if they're just exporting uh, regular parts, that's fine. All right, there goes our first uh, Mark II calculator. Romeo, where are you going with that? Romeo, you got to bring it over here to the output area. Romeo. Sir. Did I not connect this? Wait, it's still not connected to the cell point. There it goes. Oh, I must have not uh, clicked all the way. Wait, now he's still not going over there. Come on, Romeo, right here. There we go. Yay! All right, nice work. All right, finally. Excellent. Okay, we have 17 days to turn a profit. Go, people. Go, go, go. Oh, good, and the truck came by. Excellent. So we have another seven days to get things done. Still have a shortage of LED panels for uh, this area over here. But then why are we selling LED panels at the outgoing zone? Reep! How do I cut off these other zones from selling here? I don't want them going to the sell point anymore. Uh, click, in, click to expand to detailed view. How do I... Yeah, let's go ahead and delete that one. There we go. Yeah, no more connections there. I don't want you guys selling any of that stuff. So let's go back to logistics view. I don't want any of you guys dropping off there anymore. No more connections down here. Excellent. Good. No more selling. Only storing now. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. There's probably some inefficiency detected, so I'll just sound an alarm. There you go. All right. Fantastic. We got Wednesday here. Now all products are uh, being exported. All right. I think we need more people to make more calculators, but I don't want to go bankrupt. We've got 15 days. And I need to be careful. Let's move it, people. Come on. Here we go. What's that? Vacation time? Okay, that's what I thought. Let's move it, move it, move it. Let's go. Come on, profits before people. These calculators are $13,000 each. Come on. We don't need to compete because we're the only outfit in town. Let's go. I'm going to go to Wendy's, by the way. You guys want anything? I'm heading out to... Uh, I'm going to go probably get some chili and then maybe some... What? What was that? That's what I thought. What? Hold on. Let me make sure they're doing their... Th ah. Do I still see things being put in the output zone? I better not. Well, at least when the truck comes on Monday, we probably won't see any more. It is now Saturday. Inventor level two. Wow! Clearly your ambitions are, har uh, are hard to tame. Let's raise the bar even higher. Try hitting a production goal of 12 Mark II calculators per week. Uh, for this objective, you need to at least use two assembly tables. Increase the bandwidth of your logistics connections in order to fit more items into a given area. Go on, this should be easy as pie. Uh, sorry. Okay, nice. Nice. Wow, look at the money we just made. That's money in the bank. Shorty, what you think? Beautiful. 
Okay, now we can convert all of these, uh, we could convert all these tinker tables over to uh, Mark II calculators instead. So let me add some more tinker tables. We seem to have some shortages of supplies, so let's go ahead and change some things up. So instead of making the base battery, let's go ahead and make the advanced battery now over here. And let's go ahead and have this table make the Mark II calculator. The only thing that changes is the battery. Perfect. Excellent. I want to make even more though. So let me build another assembly table. Excellent. Right here. And another storage shelf. This time, can I go with something like yellow or... Uh, purple will be fine. Perfect. Sector purple. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, looks like you're missing some stuff, aren't you? Uh, plastic is missing. Wait a minute, you should have everything you need. Let's check real quick to make sure this is all connected. Yes. And then... Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, you have to reconnect it after doing that? Okay. Alright, let's make sure enough supplies are coming in. We could probably order some more plastic and metal. Those seem to be competed for quite effectively. Excellent. Alright, if we need to expand for assembly table 3, we will do that. So it looks like it takes like uh, 3 tables to support one table, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so he just needs uh, extra advanced batteries to be produced. So here he comes with the chemicals. Good, excellent. Get cracking, sir. I didn't even know you could zoom until just now. Wow. Shows how much of a noob I am. That, that's right, YouTuber. Painful to watch. Oh, of course. All right. Are those batteries being delivered? Hold on. Let's see. Mark two batteries. What's being stored here? Uh-oh. Inefficiency detected. The battery stack is here, sir. Why are you choosing not to work? Alert. Inefficiency detected. Okay, there. Let's see if that works. Oh, there you go. All right. So it looks like you just have to reconnect things. All right. Well, now we got some stuff in storage. Move it, people. Let's go. Otherwise, I'll turn on table number three, and it's going to get really hot in here with the amount of people moving around. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see. I do want to hire a third person, but I need another tinker table to make the third supply. So let's try that. Tinker table up here. Ah, up here we can do one final little tinker table in the corner. All right, so we're ready to expand if we need to. We need to make 12 calculators a week. Looks like we're out of supply. You're out of simple cases. Okay. All right, let me make some more stuff up here. Simple case. LED display. Battery. Excellent. Assembly table three. Calculator mark two. Logistics. Boom. 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 And the final one. Excellent. Are all these connected to every table? It should be. It looks like it is. I wonder why we're getting an alert here. Why? Hmm, when I come here to see exactly what the alert is about, it doesn't really say. Uh, target inventory is full. Wait, this is full? The outgoing zone? It is not. Yeah, the target in inventory is not full, either of you. Wait a minute, that wasn't full. You guys can't stack them next to each other? What's going on? I don't think I can hire a people to take a person to take it from the shelf to the uh... Yeah, wait a minute. How do I store more things here? Let me keep an eye on them. That's uh, four calculators so far. All right, let's have a maximum mega company working now in this garage. We're going to have to hire five, no, four more people. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Go back to, uh, lo nope, logistics is good. We just need to assign them now. So anybody who's not working, let's get them assigned. Brenda, you're on the assembly table. Let's move it, people.
There we go. Wow, there we go. We got six of them ready, and it's uh, Friday. Okay. Hopefully the third station will get everything done. I've kind of run out of space here. I don't think I have any more space to do anything. Oh, why? how come these guys can't deliver stuff? This is not full over here. This outgoing zone has six out of many spots, like, ready to go. How do I store more stuff here? Is there a way to upgrade this? They're not able to deliver it here. Well, wait a minute. That's only two, four, six. How come I can't store more here? There doesn't seem to be a way for me to adjust that manual. How about exporting? Selling. Let's see. Items are automatically sold once a week. Outgoing area looks similar to the incoming area. Yeah. Bring from here to here. Here to here. Here to here. These are all connected properly. Three areas are incoming. Three areas are incoming. This one has an alert, though, but it, I don't know why, though. Not all logistics slots are fully connected. Well, I think so. Because there's nobody just standing around at the income tables. And the only... Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think the, some of those alerts are correct, but, well, whatever. Inefficiency detected. Okay. Now, I don't know... Yeah, the truck comes, and then they can't store any more here. There's a backup in the system, but why? I can only store three here, six here at a time. Why? I can't build any more export areas. Move stuff. Oh, I can move stuff that way. That's helpful. Is there, like, a storage rack I can put here for outgoing stuff? Oh! I can put it in the outgoing zone. Oh! Wait, that doesn't make sense, though. Shouldn't it be a pallet? Let me, uh, try to make a shelf here and here. And that way we'll make an export for each little thing. So hold on a second. You export to here. And you export to here. There, now everybody's got their own little independent thing. Let's see if that works. Otherwise, why couldn't they just put the, put it on the ground? Oh, you have to put shelves in the outgoing area? But look at there's still three more slots for the pallet, and they should be able to be stacked on top of each other. Oh, well. Small little, tro uh, small little trope, I guess. Yeah, because you'd think, like, if this pallet can hold uh, this many things here at the incoming zone, it's inconsistent for the outgoing zone. Boxes can be stacked. At least that's how it works in the real life. Although maybe, maybe these are just really crappy boxes. That must be what it is. We need better boxes. We need to call the Better Boxes Bureau. Sir, you should be able to sell here. You don't want to sell over there? Alright. Let's turn off that one. There, you're going to the shelf. You're going to the pallet. Oh, that doesn't even work either. I need a, I need a separate pallet for everybody. Everybody needs, like, a separate pallet. All right, let's put down another pallet, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. You go here. Good. Uh, he doesn't want to go. Hmm. Okay, let's cancel that route. So let's put you in the south one. Let's put you on the north one. Let's put you on the far south one. Which he's already assigned to. Alright, so they should each have their own independent uh, thing. They should have their own shelves now. Which stores uh, four, it looks like. So four, eight, sixteen. Oh no, twelve. Well, I'm counting the outgoing zone, but... There's no more space to put anything there. All right, let's see if this works. They can store three now instead of... Uh... Oh, I don't know. I hope we can get this one. Seems a little weird. The outgoing zone should be able to store way more than just that. But it's cool that you can put it on shelves in the outgoing zone. That's cool. Okay, we got people making calculators. Let's move it, people. So that's four, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. What day is it? Wednesday. Oh, beautiful. We got this in the bank. We got this. 
Oh, they can stack on top too. Beautiful, so we actually have six per shelf. Excellent. Come on, baby, we gotta move. It's Thursday, people, let's move. All right, I wanna see those shelves full up. Let's go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we got them all. Well, we certainly do now. Beautiful. <sighs> we did it. This is CEO TV, your source for hot news. Despite yep. the circumstances, this enterprise managed to prevail. Damn right. Excellent. Level successful. Beautiful. All right. Well, there's no more uh, objectives from... All right, good. Well done, people. Excellent work. Yes. Excellent. I'll be taking a vacation as you continue to make even less than minimum wage. I've uh, freed you up from the burden of worrying about money by making sure you make none. Excellent. All right, I'm going to borrow my dad's gremlin now and head over to the uh, Wendy's. If you guys want to see more of this game, make sure you click or tap that like button. I'd love to come back and do some more on this one. There's a few quirks on exports and a few things that I've just learned now. Hey, get back in the garage. What did I tell you? Hey, get in the garage. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for being the best community on YouTube. Goodbye, everyone.